Villas and Jennings lead Lancashire's reply. Triscothic and Bartlett both hit centuries as Somerset started well against Lancashire on day one. The score was 321 for five going into today's play and Lancashire needed some vital early wickets if they were to stay in contention. And it was a positive start for Tom Abel, the Somerset skipper securing his half century off 136 balls. But his partner Gregory didn't last too long in the morning. He was dismissed for 10 after his miscue resulted in a catch off the bowling of Bailey. Some more runs were added to the scoreboard by Abel and Overton. But despite some positive batting, Overton was then out, caught by Anderson off Parkinson. In the next over, Abel looked to close in on his century, but was dismissed just one run short, Joe Many finding the breakthrough. And just two balls later, new man Leach was dismissed for a duck bowled by Parkinson caught by Villas. Despite a low order resistance from Gronewald and Van Mieckeren, the final wicket fell just two overs later, Parkinson picking up his third of the day as he dismissed Van Mieckeren for six. Despite a late clatter of wickets, a terrific first innings from Somerset, a significant total for Lancashire to chase. Big scores for Triscothic, Bartlett and Abel helping them to get there. Lancashire won without loss when they resumed in the afternoon. Davis and Jennings were the openers for Lanks and they started well, finding several boundaries. It wasn't until the 11th over that the first wicket went down. Davis out for 23, Groeneveld with the scalp. Captain Livingston didn't last long. He fell victim to Jack Leach, LBW for six. Jennings, however, continued to push on, collecting successive boundaries, and he soon brought up his first 50 for his new club, that 50 coming off 141 balls. New man Villas also looked in good nick, hitting two sensational sixes off successive deliveries. Both he and Jennings took the match to tee without loss, the score 103 for two at the break, Jennings and Villas helping to steady things for Lancashire after Somerset's good start, and the pair looked to build on their already valuable 55 going into the final session. It was a decent start to the evening for the batsmen, they continued to find the boundary with ease and it didn't take long for Villas to bring up his half century, his 50 coming off 105 balls. The pair then soared past the 100 partnership and showed no signs of letting up as they took Lancashire's score past 200. Stumps followed soon afterwards, the score 217 for two. A great day for Keaton Jennings, who finished unbeaten on 91 from 219 balls. Dane Villas will return on 83. They put on 169 runs together so far, leaving the game evenly poised going into day three.